Welcome back, everyone. Kareem here today. We are talking about speed to lead. The speed to lead, I'll read a quick definition straight off of Google. Speed to lead is the time it takes your organization on average to respond to a qualified prospect from the moment they become an inbound lead. This moment when a prospect becomes a lead can vary by organization, but it's generally when the prospect fills out a demo request or contact form. Last part is very important, contact form, meaning anybody who hits you up online, but also really when it boils down to it, anybody who calls your phone, speed the lead. Now, you know, your organization, if you have like uh, somebody behind a desk back at the office, then they're kind of either filtering out or they're making, um, they're taking inbound calls. They should also be doing outbound if, you know. If you have somebody doing it, this should be inbound and outbound. It's a whole different thing. I'm not going to get off in the weeds here. But speed the lead is incredibly important. Speed the lead is like one of the biggest running jokes when it comes to construction, general contracting, just generally. Any home services is you could work with the contractor who picks up the phone first. You know, so I'll hop on subs for a second here. Like the plumber, somebody, you know, springs a leak or something like that, or the the tube that connects the um the ice machine you know the tube that connects the ice machine to the fridge or whatever it sprung a leak whatever the heck the problem is you need somebody to come check it out what'll happen is you will attempt you'll give your earnest as a customer from a prospect's perspective you'll try your earnest to get somebody on the phone to just come and look at the darn thing and fail miserably to do so because you soon realize that hardly anybody picks up the phone hardly anybody gets back to you Hardly anybody sticks to a timeline. If they say 10 in the morning, like if you call like a plumber and they're like, hey, yeah, I'll be there at 10. They usually have these incredibly wide ranges that they don't stick. These are some of the biggest issues, the biggest complaints that people make who require home services. Now, it doesn't it's not just for emergency stuff like that. Um, you know, don't misunderstand. It's also just for long term projects, larger projects. Um, it could be, you know, my favorite siding, roofing, roofing in particular, they're notorious roofers generally are notorious for not having a very good speed to lead. They're not very quick on the ball when it comes to responding back to inquiries, which is bad because again, back to the joke, um, people just work with whoever the heck picks up the phone first, whoever answers first is like, you know, especially now this goes, this is goes doubly so for emergency services you know You're like whoever that just picks up the phone you just is gonna get the business because it's like hey everybody else is mia you know so speedily is incredibly important in an organization in your business organization and to you if you're you know out there solo still because really nobody wants to hear excuses about why you didn't respond back why you're not te- keeping your timetables why you're not just putting things on a schedule and you know enough to be able to give incredibly accurate predictions on how long things take, or even just having the willingness to drop whatever it is that you're doing and get and prioritize having people come in the pipeline, you know, and also knowing to when to drop a project and like in the moment, if um, you can't, let's say, finish it today or something like that. If you only have like a set time to do this thing and you didn't finish it within that set time, it's like, oh, well, I got to do something else. You know, just having these clear cut timing, these these schedules, these timetables. Not going to, again, I'm not going to go off in the weeds all too much about it. But again, the definition of speed to lead is the time that it takes your organization to respond to inbound leads, to hot inbound leads they're hitting you up you know they want the service and again this goes back to you should only have one service that they're hitting you up for so you know what they're hitting you up it shouldn't be a guessing game you know what i mean you don't know if they want like the low ticket stuff you don't know if they want the high ticket stuff cut all of that out by cutting out all the services in your offer in your marketing in your branding when you're reaching out to people when you're putting yourself in front of people have the one thing so that when people do contact you know exactly what it is somebody blows up your phone your general contractor you know you're doing roofing, you know your only current offer that you're telling people like their first exposure to you is that, hey, I do roofing and they're not seeing any of the other stuff you're doing like siding or, you know, drywall or 
flooring any of that stuff they're not seeing any of that you know exactly what it is you know what they want so you know like hey this is a high ticket deal potentially on the phone let me answer this darn phone you know because you're not you might not be able again for the you know people still solo out there you might not be able to delegate it just yet or maybe the person that you have is swamped which is why it is important to have crms in place and to have an automated system. This is something that I personally do for businesses, have a CRM in place so that you don't necessarily have to worry about having to let leads lie dormant while they just move on to the next one, right? They move on to the next business if they can't get their answer, their question answered, if they can't talk to somebody to actually set up a time and all of that good stuff. I'm not gonna make this video too long. I think we're going over a little bit right now. So I'm gonna end it here. Speed delete is incredibly important. Keep it tight, keep it quick. You wanna get somebody into your ecosystem as quickly as possible. You wanna find out um, exactly their needs, are they qualified, all of that stuff. Five minutes or less, that's, that's speed delete. Five minutes or less, that's the standard you're shooting for. Five minutes or less. Anything longer than that is just, I don't wanna talk about it. See y'all tomorrow. Ben Kareem, peace.